recording. Uh, and I'm going to start annotations as well, trans captions. All right. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Chaos DEI community call. It's great to have everybody here. Again, minutes are in the chat. Uh, please feel free to add yourself. That would be great. And uh, any animals you've seen today? So dogs, deer, birds, dogs, cat, <laughs> shrimp. I had to clarify that one. Just so you know, <laughs> if it was like a... a shrimp in a creek or something like that but it was not it's a shrimp in a tank uh a bird oh yeah i've probably seen my well, canadian geese they're kind of flying through my city at this point in time on their way down south um so as again as people join um could somebody get the minutes into the chat i see katie just joined so hi katie and, uh... All right, um, so I, I guess a few things that I wanted to talk about today. Um, as a lot of you know, we're working on project badging and we've been kind of working with some folks at uh, GitLab who GitLab, who have been proposing some changes to a few of the documents that we have, particularly the DEI.md file, not actually a few of the documents, one of the documents um, in an effort to kind of help people through some suggested ways that they could think about the metrics that we ask for. You know what I mean? So in the DEI.md file, we say, here are the four metrics that we're asking you to attend to with respect to project badging. Um, and underneath each one of those metrics that we ask people to respond to, we give a couple uh, different ways that they could think about it. Because every project will be different, and our intention is really just to kind of help people think about how they might think about the different metrics. So in this case, um, this is only looking at project access. So again, there's four metrics. This is just looking at one of the metrics. And these are some, some suggestions from folks at GitLab to kind of build out what those suggestions could be. Um, so the reason that we appreciate this this feedback is because a lot of our original suggestions were kind of chaos centric. It was just me writing down things that we do and having input from other, other people is really helpful in this regard. Um, so this is, the, this is the current proposal. I don't know if anybody would like to just kind of give this a quick read. I'm not sure the, I might need to edit it just a little bit, um, but does, does anybody have feedback on on any of this at all or thoughts. I'm trying to keep the list at about se uh, seven, at about 10. So I'm gonna try to have to kind of make this a little bit shorter. You know, so I guess as you ask yourself when you read this, are there things that maybe we could remove, things that we could combine? So I'll give you a minute just to take a look at this. And you can access this document just through the minutes right here, just that first link. Or just look at my screen. Again, just readability, if anything stands out is just a little difficult to read or areas that you think could be combined or not clear. It's a little difficult for me to read.
What do people think? Nothing. This is a because this will be a PR that I, I once I kind of sort out a bit of the editing, this will be a PR that I'll make to the DEI.md file in the all in repository. And so this becomes, you know, it can obviously always change, but it becomes kind of what we put in front of people applying for a project badge as suggestions. Okay. I'm just um, <clears throat> processing here. Yep, that's fine. I'm not sure about number six. Number um, six. The, the mission uh, uh, project. I feel like the project's mission should be something completely Okay. Related Maybe to the project, project, yeah. um, wow. but uh, maybe a, a stated goal of our project is that everyone can contribute or something like that. Like yeah. not the mission, but just something, something else. Got it. Just like that. I like stated goal. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And I might also kind of try to combine a few of them that, um, or at least put a few of them closer together that seem to be related a little bit more. Right now, I feel like some of them are kind of jumping back and forth between different things. And should we, in number nine, should we mm -hmm. link to those things? Um, I could definitely do that. Yep. Yeah. I'd recommend it. I. Sure. Honestly, I don't I don't work on accessibility, but I I don't know what either of those things are. Okay. Got it. Thanks. Is there one in here? Again, I want I'm trying to keep this at about 10 because these could be forever long and I don't want to overwhelm people. Is there one in here that is maybe the least interesting to you? I do kind of wonder if six might be able to be combined with something else. Yeah. Like seven. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Um. um. I don't know. I don't like that, but something like that. Or just, or even just like that, just combine it straight up, not. Yeah, I, and maybe put the all areas of project name are considered open first. And then, because I think it flows a little bit better that way. Okay. Great. Now down to 10. Okay, this is great. Um, this is good feedback. 
just some editing, which was really helpful, and some combining, which was also really helpful. So thanks for that. Um, I'll do one final pass on this, just from a edit perspective, and then just take it, take care of the PR uh, over with respect to the DEI.md file. So thank you. Um, there was a, a question that kind of came up that I'd love people's comments on, and it's here. So, and Sean, I know you've been involved in many of these conversations around badging, and I know a lot of people on this call have as well. Um, so the question is, would a separate DEI, would separate DEI.MV files be required for each of an organization's individual projects? I mean, we've gone back and forth about this. So where, um, we, where do we stand at the moment? I mean, right now, the way that it's been built is at the repository level. And I think the discussions that we've had are that, um, you know, a project could, if they wanted to badge their entire, like, GitHub org, they mm -hmm. could pick a, pick a project that they designate where they're going to put mm -hmm. this stuff. But I don't know that we ever got to a final conclusion for anything beyond badging a repository. Okay. That's kind of what I thought too. So in this case, if, if there was an org that had multiple projects in different repos, <clears throat> they would have to badge each one of those repositories. Yeah. And the, I mean, yeah. Okay. I, so I, I understand that the challenge associated with with doing it for an entire org, but That's a lot of a lot of projects just um, they they really operate kind of on an org level, and okay. then they have like a you know like a community repo which yeah. has the, got the governance stuff and it has a whole bunch of things that apply to the entire organization. Um, you know, K Native is kind of like this. If you look at K Native, they have they have sub projects, but it's all within the within the K Native org. Um, but they act as one collective thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I know. I, I agree. That is actually how it works. So, I mean, the one proposal I do remember is that the project could designate a repo as sort of the repo that they badge. Because right now the application process asks for a repository, not an org, correct? Right, that's right. That's that's the sole way that it's been and done. Um, but actually, it's just asking for the repo where the DEI.md file is located. That's it. So it's not actually yeah. a repo. It's just asking where that DEI.mb file is located. Right. Um, and so to Don's point, and at the end of the DEI.mb file, we do make a few recommendations um, as to where to put that DEI.mb file. And the recommendations, like what you were talking about, Don, would be like in a community repo at that org level. And in GitHub, we also made a recommendation that you could consider putting it in your .github repo, just because that's an org level repository. Yeah, and I feel like this isn't a this isn't a one or the other. I think it's yeah. probably going to be both, depending on the situation, because there are you know so like the VMware repo or the VMware org, for example, yep. has loads of very separate, very distinct projects okay. in it, that are like on a per repo level, and you wouldn't. You would never badge the whole VMware org because it wouldn't make sense because the projects operate independently. They have separate maintainers. It's each one is completely separate. So in that case, you wouldn't want to badge the whole org. Yep. But in a case like some of the CNCF projects where the, the project itself is, yep. is an org where all of the things for that project and just that project are held, those would make more sense to do at an org level. And I so think it's going to be on a case by case basis. Yep. So then it makes me wonder if in the DEI.md file, I should maybe specify this a little bit. Like we understand there are situations where the org represents, I'm not saying this perfectly, but where the org represents the project. We also understand there are situations where the org contains many projects. It's a judgment call on your part to think about um, how you're requesting badging. Cause we do this a lot. We basically say, we'll look wherever you want us to look. And if you have the file, um, 
but we really ask for that the the audit or the truth of that file to be considered by the community because we can't really do that. And so, yeah. okay. Okay, I, I do like that. So I get, I get the I'll work on the text later. Yeah, and I don't I don't think there's ever gonna be um a scenario where we could come up with a single piece of guidance that would provide ultimate clarity on this. No. Mm -mm. Okay. So in this case, like in this one where it says it might be a lot to ask for a separate DEI file for each individual project across an org. Well, in the case that you were talking about with VMware, yeah, that's probably gonna be what you're gonna have to do. You're gonna have to ask for each repository as representing a project to apply. That's a judgment, so yes. And will it be a lot of extra work? Well, I don't know. It's really no different than if each of those projects had their own org. Um, okay. But like in the case of chaos, I think the way we've been kind of piloting it is that we have a single DEI.md file across the entirety of the chaos project. And even as such, I mean, we do even have projects that might, this is so weird because we do have projects that could in theory <laughs> ask for their own badge and those projects being Augur, those projects being Grimoire Lab. And even in our case, I think we're just kind of saying we're all one. We just want to represent this as our community. So, okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to write something. <laughs> it's a little graceful. It just basically says it's your, you have to figure this out. And we understand that there's a challenge in that. Okay. Great. Um, thank you for that. Okay. Uh, as, as these are the only things I have on the agenda, I have one left here. Um, we, we may end up ending pretty short, Sean. I don't know if you had anything that you were wanting to add to the agenda. No. Or anybody. Not today. Just with respect to badging, I know you've been having some conversations. Yeah. I mean, Any I think. Updates that you would like to share or that any. Yeah, I mean, there's. there's um, like to share? So the front end team is doing uh, some design work right now and that that uh i think work is progressing um we're meeting with sarah uh i'll be a little bit late for the um data science meeting uh, just because we're trying to sort out the email address that the notifications come okay. from yeah that's that's kind of the little piece that uh, i'm involved with on that end okay but um you know development um there, there's a there's a I don't know if Enoch is on the call or if Ruth is on the call. I don't the see. Call. No. So, I mean, I think, uh, I think what I could say on their behalf is that the front end design team and the front end implementation team are, are trying to work together to, to get to the deadline that okay. we set for the end of the month. Okay. Um, and, uh, you know, I think, I think uh, it's hard to say, but I think, I think, I think it's looking okay. I think it's looking pretty okay. good. Great. Um, just so people know, one of the, the issues that, that Sean was talking about here was um, when people apply and receive the badge and receive the report, 
um, where that comes from, the email that gets sent. We're just, they're trying to sort out like what account that needs to be. And I'm thinking it's going to be, I think you're, you're kind of landing on, it's going to be an all in email account just because mm -hmm. there's a couple different people in the process that are going to need access to this account to send emails. And we didn't want an email coming from say Enoch that says you applied. And then one coming from another, you know, from chaos that says, here's your yeah, badge. one coming exactly. from John. That right. says, here's your yeah. report. So we wanted to create some consistency there. Um, and we also didn't want to use any, set anything up in chaos just because this is, this is an all in thing. You know, that's kind of how we ended up um, kind of working this out. <clears throat> and so the hope is, is that I think they can set up just really an email server somewhere that both Sean and Enoch and folks who need access to that email server will have access to it and we can create consistent email senders. Okay. Um, the last thing that, so thank you. Does anybody else have any comments with respect to project badging? Any questions that you might have on, on how this is going or how you might get involved? Okay, it's it's been a long time. I think we realized it's been over a year <laughs> since we've been trying to work this out. And I, 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 I really appreciate the patience because I think this is a really important issue. Um, and to think through it um, in, a, in a nice way, <laughs> in a nice systematic way is, is really the way to do it. So I really appreciate that. All right, the, the last thing that I wanted to bring up today was, um, you know, we in this in this group take a look at metrics on a on a regular basis as well. And I'm yeah, was there a comment? So we have everything. This is a spreadsheet that you all have access to. So if you just kind of go in the in the list here down at the bottom, this is an open spreadsheet where we track the development of metrics uh, in the, our different working groups. And everything in green is a released metric. Everything in yellow is something that we're kind of thinking about, although I'm wondering if these are even in progress at the moment. And red is something that's considering. The, the reason that I'm bringing this up is a lot of our efforts in the last, say, three months, I'd say, have been around uh, event-based event, event -based metrics. And these are metrics that we've been using to deploy in the Chaos DEI event badging program. And so we've been building out kind of rows six through 14 quite nicely. We've had a lot of great feedback and a lot of great contributions from people um, and working with a lot of events teams to kind of sort those out. I guess one of the questions as we move forward with project badging, and we now kind of have a home for a lot of these metrics in these programs, um, are there particular metrics kind of on this list that speak to you or are there things I think I put in here that you know metrics that would be meaningful to you as you think about diversity equity and inclusion when you're joining a project you know what are the things that that you look to better understand when joining a project and I'll kind of just kind of open it up if there are things that people would like to to mention and you can look at this list or you can you know, kind of come up with new thoughts. You know. Or when you joined Chaos, what were the things that you recognized as as being really important to you when joining the project? I have a lot of thoughts on path to leadership. I'm not sure if I really have time to develop the metric right now, but yeah. So this one right here. It's something, yeah, it's something we spend a lot of time thinking about as part of the CNCF tag contributor strategy, things like contributor mm -hmm. ladders, for example. So what um is it about kind of representing the way that say a newcomer can join the project and identify ways to grow within the project? It's kind of a way for for anybody within the project to, okay. to look at how they might move 
move up within the project. I can show you, I've got some, I've got stuff. I was just looking at it earlier, as a matter of fact. Is it, oh yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say Ali Connect, because that's how I see your name here. So yeah, you can definitely. <laughs> sorry, sorry, it's daylight. Um, so delight. one of the things that would be important, yeah. One thing that would be important to me when joining a project is if there is a guide, if it's an already existing project, that should be like a tutorial guide on how I can contribute in the project. Okay. That would be one of the most important things to me. Could you, do you mind if I ask you a few questions on that? Is it about? Um, sure. sure. Yeah. yeah, yeah, this is great. Um, is it about? kind of just helping you become a, a new member? Is it about helping like identify places where you can contribute? Kind of what would you what would you want to see in, in such a tutorial? Okay, it's more about um helping me to find places where I can contribute in. Okay. Um, because as a new member, I need to know where to figure out and contribute to the project. Okay. Gotcha. I don't know if we have, interesting, but I don't know that we have a metric that talks about like clear newcomer tutorials or clear tutorials. So that's nice. Newcomer that, experience. What was, I don't remember what was in that one. Where is it? Which row? 43. 43. Okay. Yeah, delay. Yeah, I just remember that there was a time we um, um organized a community called the Tall Guys. These are guys that um take true new members. <laughs> Yeah, projects that should be a nice option adding it to each of the projects. Yeah, the tour guide. Okay, and then I saw there were some comments in here too that how can I get involved? I assume that comment is kind of associated with here. Okay, I'm wondering done with the one you pointed out. Maybe I could take a look at this metric as well and think about how some of these might be tied to that. Because I agree, we do talk about the newcomer experience. Yeah, it feels like the tour guide stuff is more on the newcomer experience side than on the path to leadership. Like that's like like the starting place. Oops, yeah, I let me. Okay, it was just badly uh, indented. Yep, it, felt, it felt separate to me. I just wanted yeah, to point that. sorry. Okay, that's super helpful. And I think you said you said tour guide, not tutorial guide, right? I think we've got that wrong in the notes, maybe. We have, yeah, I got, oh, sorry, we have two of them here. I have tutorial guide and tour guide. So I think it was, was this tutorials or was it tours delayed? Actually, what I said earlier was um tour guides. Well, tutorial guide is also nice, someone that can be tutorial. Okay. Uh, the tutorial is very much different from a tour guide, so I don't know the stress. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I, I thought maybe I thought maybe we'd misheard that because those seemed like two separate things. <clears throat> Got you. Yeah. No, yeah. that's a great idea. Okay. Great. Um. Am I missing anything in chat? I'm not. What are are there any other thoughts that people have just in terms of how how they think about you know joining projects and what are things that are important to them? 
or or honestly within a project you know you've been around a project for a long time and what are things that are important to you as well that the project can do well as you as you have thoughts don't hesitate to connect with me on slack and give me some ideas here i I just like to kind of start building out some of these project metrics a little bit more, particularly as we kind of a long-term goal that as we um, build out project badging, that we're gonna have additional project metrics that we're gonna ask people to, to consider. Um, and thinking about these now might be a really good way. So Peculiar, did you have a question or a comment? That'd be great to hear from you. I'm afraid I can't hear you. Maybe your microphone isn't working. I see you're unmuted. Well, I'm afraid I can't hear you. Is anybody else hearing? Okay. Maybe you could put your thoughts in chat or send it to me in Slack. That would be cool. All right. Well, this was great. I just, these are all that I had for today. <laughs> Some updates to the DEI.md file, a few of these questions about how we think about orgs and repos and represent that to people. And then a few metrics that we might wanna think about moving forward. Um, so thanks for everybody for contributing and all of your thoughts. I really do appreciate it. Um, and we'll see you on on whatever call that next call might be, okay? Yeah. See you then. Thanks, everybody. Bye, everyone. Ready? Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, Shane.